Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So these are the last two items I got from my huge Diamond Art Club haul. I got well, a couple of months ago, was it maybe? Um, I've shown the first three paintings in one unboxing. Uh, I did a review of the greetings cards that they do. And then this is the last two of the diamond paintings that I got. Sadly, um, I know one lady did say she hoped that I'd got the Scottish Terrier one with the Westie. But I wasn't overly keen on the Scottish Terrier and how it looked. So sadly, I didn't get that one. I may change my mind at a later date. But at the moment, I haven't got that one. Um, but I have got two squares, a smaller one and a larger one. Uh, I believe this one is uh, 33 centimetres by 33. And this one is 42 by 52. So I know they are small to a lot of people. But this one is a bigger one uh, to what I normally do. Uh, they are older kits as well. The ones that I've been umming and ahhing about getting for quite a while. Uh, if you remember when I put my first order through for the first three paintings that I got I then got an email within sort of seconds from Diamond Art Club saying well to save us a bit of postage and if there's anything else you'd like have 25% off and I said well thank you very much I will definitely have 25% off so that's what I did so let's have a look at the biggest one first and see what this one is okay and as I say it's one that I've had on my wish list for a while it is a pretty in pink of course it's pink it's me it had to be pink yeah i think it's normally 49 pounds and then i got the 25 percent off it okay let's get into it and see what we've got and oops you go out but my scissors it's a square drill so go me being brave get into squares oh my goodness but uh, it's one that I just know I've got somewhere in the house I would like to put this one. When I'm ever going to get all of these done, I'm not quite sure. But I have to admit, I do like the boxes, the holographic stars on the boxes and the packaging and everything. You know, they are very, very professional um, and very top end uh, of diamond paintings. But then you are paying sort of a top end price for them as well. So you wouldn't expect anything less really. Let me get this one out. Gosh, this is tightly packed. Oh my goodness me. Get your muscles working, Liz. God, oh, that took a bit of getting out. Okay. Oh, and it looks like we have a new toolkit as well. To be fair, I was expecting an old toolkit in these because they are the uh, older pictures. So we'll see what cover minder we got so we've got our pretty in pink little sticker there to go in your log book or on your box or whatever you want to do with them i don't keep the boxes <gasps> i know shock horror the bachelor boxes that i don't keep but i keep my canvases flat i keep my drills separate um, and so i don't keep them in the boxes okay get these out of the plastic sleeve Actually, let's have a look in this toolkit first. So, yeah, big surprise. I was expecting uh, one of the old toolkits. So let's see what we've got. Ugh, doesn't want to open. Let's see what colours we've got. Oh, we've got hot pink. Oh, my goodness me. Right, so we have our very uh, strong and very sharp tweezers with diamond art club branding on the end there yeah just make sure that you keep the cover on these because they are exceptionally sharp i have stabbed myself a few times with them not deliberately i hasten to have there we have a nice little lot of grip seal bags there we have our heart wax in a little heart wax container i do think they're sweet we have a standard pink, actually it's not a standard pink pen, it's a sparkly pink pen. I don't know whether it's going to catch that in the light, but that is a sparkly pink pen and a hot pink squishy. Oh, they knew it was me. Mind you, it had to be pink really when it's pretty in pink. And then, oh, that's clever. So the washi tape is like a purple design, but that is all trees. So it's, it matches in with the... Uh, painting 
that's really clever. Somebody's really thought that out when they've put these in. I always thought it was random, you know, that they just put them in randomly, but maybe not. Okay. And then, oh, 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 look at that. Oh, is that not just the sweetest little thing? We've got a little puppy with a peach. So that's our little cover minder, look needle minder with his magnets on the back. Oh, he is so cute. Oh, love him. Very sweet. And then we have, what have we got? Is this a, that looks like a four placer. And is that a six? And, oh, it's a seven placer, a four and a seven placer to go on the end of our pen. And then we have a little white boat with the stopper in that somebody's put the wrong way around. That's better. Or maybe it didn't go the other way around. That's why they've put it that way around. Okay. But yeah, it's handy. I mean, actually, that's quite a nice size boat. And it's got a good size sides as well. So when you shake it, your drills are all going to jump out the end. So, yeah, that's fine. I do like the new toolkits. To be honest, I like getting toolkits because I think it's like getting an extra little present with your uh, diamond painting. That's not going to go back in that bag, so I'm not going to struggle anymore. Let me put that out of the way. Okay, put the sticker with it as well. So let's have a look at this canvas. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, look. I just love this picture. I think it's so relaxing and pretty and it's gonna just look stunning once i get it done wow what a color palette and i do believe we are hot pink in this as well okay look at the gem look at the colors <gasps> purples and pinks and blues gorgeous so we've got our little leaflet our thank you leaflet with all your different bits and pieces on there that's fine Okay, let's pop those on one side. Oh, I've just spotted an AB shining at me. We've got 37 different colours. Okay, uh, DMC codes there, and we have got three ABs. So we've got 134, 135, and 141. So it looks like we've got a green and a slightly limeier green. And then white. Ooh, pretty. Okay. We've got our big sticker with uh, all your die cut little stickers to go on your tubs. So that's good. I do love this picture though. I just, I just love to be sat. I don't know whether it's a river or whether it's a path. Do you think it's a river? Maybe it's just a path with water on it shimmering mind you to be honest the amount of water and rain that we've had recently oh my goodness me then yeah that probably is like um well it's similar to east park where we take millie albeit the trees don't go pink like that but it's a big walkway down the center path in the park when you go into the park and it's really pretty and she just runs up there to go and see what's going on with the bandstand at this side and there's a little play park at that side so yeah it is pretty in pink by graham gherkin is it g-r-k-c-k-e-n gherkin jerkin okay so that's your big sticker as normal but yeah so i'm not sure when i'll be buying any more diamond dark club paintings i have got quite a few now to be going on with oh that looks a bit strange Ooh, can you see that? I don't know whether that will show up on camera. It's not, going to sh it's not going to show up. It's got like, um. oh, it's showing up a little bit. We've got like a shape there, so the glue's just not quite flattened out. It's really a rough shape in the glue. I mean, it is flat and it is sticky, but the rest of it's all sort of like shiny, sticky, whereas that's like a dull sticky. As I wonder if somebody put something on it and it's taking some of the glue off. Very strange, never seen that before. Don't think it'll affect the painting, but it's just something that I've just spotted. A bit odd. <laughs> These do flatten down really, really easily because of the lovely material that they're made from. Oh yeah, it's in the middle as well. I think it's where there's been bubbles, a little bit of bubbling um, on the cover sheet. 
and it's just left like little marks of um, roughness as it were I suppose it's maybe where the glue's not actually got flattened down by the cover sheet I don't think it'll affect the drilling of the picture but it's a very a very pretty the colour palette on this one just called out to me just had to have it what can I say okay let's have a look at these drills that's a heavy bunch of drills considering there's only 37 I think there's going to be a lot of them of one colour right so oh yeah these aren't in number order this throws me as well um, Diamond Art Club actually do their drills in drill amount order so the, they're never in like DMC number order and they're not in sort of number order as it were they are literally in uh, amount order shall we say so we are starting off with a nice denim blue and an orangey red and a pale blue with another pale blue so there's two of that colour there or two of that pale blue Oh, lovely lilac colour, a nice cherry red and another pale blue so we've got a lot of different colour blues. It's going to be an awful lot of shading on this look with the different blues, very very pretty. Two packs of your two oh no no it's not, I beg your pardon, it's 208 and 209. Uh, sorry I do realise that these are upside down. Um, but it's just easier because that's the way the train goes. <laughs> uh, so we've got a purple and a slightly deeper purple. 310 black. Oh, hot pink. Yes, hot pink. To go with my hot pink squishy. Uh, another purpley lilac colour. 939, good old 939 there. And then that's like a corally pink colour. And that's a lovely deep blue with another blue we've got our first white one there look oh, sorry first a b there uh, 141 which is your white with that gorgeous iridescent coating on i have to say the first diamond art club painting that i did had um white a b's in it and i did think well what's all the fuss about with uh, with diamond art club but when i tipped out the a b coated gems I thought, yeah, they really do sparkle. There was something, just that little extra about them. So, yeah, they were really, really good. And they're looking very, very sparkly too. And then we've got a deep royal purple there. Okay. And then what else do we have? These are the smaller bags now. So we start off with a 606, which is orangey red. And then we have like a navy blue and a very deep red. Oh, and another purple. This is going to be gorgeous. All these pinks and purples. That's like a very deep burgundy colour. Nice fresh green. And oh, look at those two greens together. I like those just complementing each other. And a little bit of pink. And oh, we've got a green AB there, again, very, very sparkly, a square ABs as well. So that's really good because I do think if I've got some squares, they'll go on my other picture that I need to collect my drills for. And I know it does have a green. I'm not sure if it's that colour green, but I know it has a green. And then we've got your blue, your very, very pale blue, a 666 or 999 as I'm looking at it. And then we've got a pale green and a very limey green there. And then I was going to say, where's the other AB? But it's right at the end. Very dark green, a grassy green and then a lemony lime green. Look at that one. Just a little teeny tiny bit. Okay, so let's see where do these ABs go. So we've got one, two and a dot. So one and two looks like we're going to be all around the tree. We've got some in the tree as well. So that's nice charting because that's going to just give a little bit of sparkle up here. All of this here is the white dot. So let me look. Yep. All of this here is the white dot. So that's all going to be ABs and all across here. 
and all down here so that this like water is going to shimmer all the way down and all up the side of the tree and then oh so they're nicely spaced out we've got ones and twos around here all around here up here here and here and then we've got the number ones the whites all here and here and all around in the tree so yeah that's a really good spread of uh, the ab's ab's aurora borealis it's basically a it's normal drill um, and it just has an iridescent coating on the top so you get like a northern light soil and water type effect but uh, yeah i love this picture i think it's gonna be really really good i'm not gonna measure it because they are true to size the diamond art club ones so we're 52 centimeters by 42 centimeters which is 20 and a half inches by 16 and a half inches so okay that's number one let me get this one uh, the drills put away for this one and we'll have a look at the next one okay i've taken it out of its plastic wrapper just to save a little bit of time so it's not a scotty dog this one but it is a little dog look it's a little baby yorkshire terrier with flowers in her hair and yeah i've had these before it's a maryland casanave one um i think i've got two others of hers as well because so i do like them they are sweet so, oh and this one's got the new toolkit in it as well all oh, right okay so maybe they've run through all their old kits now and we are getting all new toolkits so we have our yorkie and roses sticker there okay have a look in this toolkit and see which one we've got this tab. I don't need to um get the top off, do I? I could just open it that way, and actually that was a lot easier to do. Oh, we've got orange this time, okay. So lots of grip seal bags, an orange sparkly pen, uh, four placer and seven placer again, diamond art club, a very pointy tweezers. Oh, like uh, it's like um, a blanket design, isn't it? I've seen blankets with this on, like handmade blankets all woven. Okay, we've got the orange squishy to go on the orange pen. We've got our two pieces of heart wax. I do like these little heart containers, they are sweet. And then look at this one. Oh, we've got a bunny. Oh, I should have opened this one ready for Easter, shouldn't I? And the bunny's got a strawberry. So they are very tiny these but they're so cute and this is like a, it's got a glass of feel i mean it's plastic but it's got a real glass of feel to it glass of feel glass feel to it um and it's very very shiny this one the other one was dull and then we've got the normal tray again well the normal diamond art club tray okay so let's pop all these away and we will have a look at the canvas and, oops, the lid's come off. Go on, everybody back in there. I'll sort you all out later. <laughs> the amount of clearing up I have to do after I've made a video. I just have a big pile of stuff sort of at the end of the desk over there and then I have to sort it all out and label it and put it away. And uh, yeah, it doesn't always get done the same day that I film, I have to say. I'm very naughty. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this is only a little one, 13 inch by 13 inch. But look, and it's a partial as well, so it'll be a very quick one to do. But it's very pretty, and it's pink again, what can I say? We're pink again. And this one has, oh, goodness me, this one has four ABs, never. Four ABs, really? It does, wow. So, a partial, smaller painting. And it is just four ABs on it. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so sparkly. Uh, we've got your normal leaflet there telling you how to diamond paint and an extra discount code on there. And then we have our sticker. It's 32 colours with four ABs. That is amazing. Sorry, it's 33 colours. Look, there's one slipped in up there. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Oh, this won't take much doing at all and it is squares uh, the only thing i don't like about the partials is that you do tend to get very blocky edges um but i don't think you'll maybe notice that once it's done because it's very cute but 
yeah it, it's it's just not rounded off but that is because it's square and that is because it's a partial and that is the background here none of this pink is diamond painted it is just the little pop in the middle oh that is so cute let me just flatten it down a little bit give her a little bit of flatten so that she it's all nice and flat and we can see her properly I think she's, she just looks butter wouldn't melt, don't you think? Oh, that is so pretty. Really nice colouring uh, charting as well on the uh, different shading for the Yorkshire Terrier colours. Oh, and a little nose and her eyes. And the set 33 colours, we've got the key code down both sides. So that's always handy, albeit I think you can more or less see this one um, from both sides. I don't think you're going to need both key codes. But it's always handy to have them. So let's have a look at these gems and see what we got this time. Okay, so we have oh I've just spotted one of the one of the ABs. Looks like they're all for fairly small amounts. So we'll start on these. So, oops. Oh, I just want him to be there right off the desk. So we've got our sort of chestnutty brown colours and a deep brown and a little bit of 310 black and a beige and a sort of chocolatey brown and a very dark brown and another brown. So that is a lot of shading, a lot of colouring to go on this little dog. Wow, that's really good. They do do the charting. As far as I know, it is hand charting on them as well. So they don't just computer generate the picture and put the uh, diamonds onto it, the gems onto it. They do actually uh, then go back in and see if the colours will look right and hand chart them. So I suppose that's what you're paying for, the extra, the licensing, um, the picture quality, the canvas quality, your toolkit, your boxes and everything, but and your hand charting. Um, it all adds value to your paintings, to your experience as well. Okay, so some very pretty colours here. We've got our first AB, which is this gorgeous little baby pink. That's pretty, very pretty. That's going to be in the flowers then. Okay. And then the next one, we've got again a bubblegum pink and a beige and a grey. And that's a very dark green. Oh, ooh, and that's like a very pale peachy colour AB there. And another grey and a thorny colour green and then oh look at that one oh what colour is that then oh these are that's an AB that's 102 so that's number one so where do number ones go oh number ones are all the in the eyes look so it's gonna have beautiful dark blue black sparkly eyes Oh, that'll be good. That'll be really nice. And then a bit and a little bit of pink. And then we have a little bit of white as well. So that one is 141, which is number four. So that's the eyes as well. Oh, so that's going to be little pup's eyes look. Bluey black with the white. They're going to really sparkle and shine. Oh, they're going to be very pretty. So where do our peach ones go? One two eight is number three. Oh, one two seven. Sorry, is number two. Oh, so number two is all in the flowers round here. So they're just little bits of sparkle just to add to it. Um, and then what would the other one? Number three is. Oh, and then number three is on the other side. So two and three are all mixed in with the flowers. And then one and four are all the eyes. Oh, that is so sweet. Couldn't you just pick it up and give it a cuddle? I bet it's only a real small one as well because it's a puppy. In fact, it might only be about that big. I know when we first got Millie, our Scottish, she would fit in the palm of your hand. Uh, hubby always says that um, when she was a puppy, she, her whole body was the size of her head now. <laughs> I don't know whether that's being rude to Millie or not. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, she's a little bit of a chunky monkey, is our Millie Moo at the moment. Uh, she does need to uh, lose a little bit of weight because it's been raining so much trying to get her out of the house and uh, get her out for walks and things. She's just uh, not wanting to go in the rain. She's definitely a fair weather Scotty. If it was snowing, she would be out in the snow, no problem. But raining, no. not a chance if it's raining. Okay, so that's our gorgeous little uh, Yorkshire Terrier dog. And then speaking of rain, our lovely pink, pink tree scene. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Uh, sadly, well, that one's a little bit different for me, scenes, but that one's a definite Liz canvas, isn't it? Although that one has got the hot pink in it. Yay! Okay, well, I hope you have enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then don't forget to press that subscribe button and come and join our little family. And the all notifications bell that pops up will let you know that any videos I upload, you'll get a little message that says uploading a video and you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.